Good morning. It is early. Uh, I'm going to be kind of quiet because everyone's sleeping around me. But I got up at six today to kind of film this and just start the morning right. Uh, and like always, it's just going to be a raw, uncut version of uh, my weekly Monday Diaries. <laughs> probably pretty far away from the camera right now because I wanted to show like the mountains in the background and the whole place but I'm coming bring it a bit closer for this okay so I got my cacao uh, usually I blend this so it's uh, not very mixed but we'll see how we go and I made a few notes as well just to make sure I don't forget anything but um, this is just a weekly recap from last week before I got to Cape Town. So you'll see the Cape Town stuff next week. But um, Monday Diaries is essentially, if you're new here, a raw one take video I sit down and do once a week just to talk about life and business. Um, and in particular, the business I started at the start of this year, it's called Art of Mondays and it's kind of a tribute to uh, making Mondays the greatest day of the week and loving what you do. But essentially it's a private, highly vetted network for lifestyle founders. So people who are building things, uh, but they care about balance. They care about physical, mental, spiritual health alongside the thing that they're building. Uh, I think we all go through cycles where we hustle and grind and you know work nonstop for a couple of years and then you realize there's more to life. Um, there's, you know, the people matter, the places you live and, and visit matter. And uh, yeah, just that, that balance. So this is uh, episode seven. And uh, last week, Evan flew in from Melbourne. He uh, has just come on as a co-founder of Art of Mondays. I started it, but I really was looking for someone who could uh, come in and add a lot of value and take all of my big ideas and distill them and make them actually uh, possible. So Evan is that guy, we've been connected. I, I kind of wanted to tell the story of, of how we connected. It was a few years ago, I was running Brand Booster, which is a creative agency out in WA. We had a, a studio and we used to shoot content for, for brands all day long. And Evan um, works for a, a company on the East Coast that kind of did marketing for brands as well. So we'd been connected um, through like business to business, but he reached out to get me on a podcast he was running at the time. And I hope this isn't too loud. Um, and yeah, we just, we hit it off. We had a good chat then and we'd just been connected ever since. And he was always someone that came to mind. Um, I mean, first of all, taking initiative to run the podcast with the company he was with, but also um, many other initiative taking things that he's done over the years uh, and I always recognized and uh, yeah, knew he could be a, a powerhouse um, within something. And I actually tried to incorporate him into a, a previous project. It just, timing wasn't right. It, was, it wasn't a fuck yeah, it was a, Mm, I'd like to make this work, but you know, it just wasn't working on both sides. So when I came to him with Art of Mondays, uh, it was like a fuck yeah from, from the start. And uh, we just communicated very transparently what we both wanted and and uh, and we went from there. So it was cool. It, it just flowed nicely and obviously led to him coming out to West Australia to hang out. Uh, real startup vibes. He basically slept on the floor for, for two nights. <laughs> Uh, the same floor that we were kind of working from most of the time as well because we didn't have enough desks in the house and uh, and everything from mapping out visions and uh, vision and values to uh, refining the product uh, and going really deep in that and just like a strategy going forward so you know we also talked about custom acquisition we talked about uh, all sorts of stuff and it was a full-on few days uh, fairly poor timing uh, all things considered because I was flying to Cape Town a few days after that had heaps to organize um, so it was balls to the wall but uh, very worthwhile and it kind of gave Evan a taste of how I live out here uh, I'll just I just live day to day what's up welcome to the vlog this is Saunabos yeah we were hitting the ice bath and the sauna most days and we had crew coming through actually it was, it was like the busiest time ever for people coming through our house because our um the wellness stuff is on the roof so um that was a lot of fun but uh yeah now now we're we're partners on art of mondays um and uh, we're not 50 50 partners but uh it's a still a sizable chunk 
of the business and we're both aligned. We both uh, think it makes sense and we're pretty eager to, to hit the ground running. So uh, for all my Art of, Mon- our Art of Mondays members watching, um, heaps of stuff coming. I know I always say that some of these stuff just, just takes time to develop. Um, but it's just so early days. I could see such a bigger vision for this company right now. It's, it's servicing <clears throat> more established founders, people who've built something already. They have a certain you know, revenue requirement. It's a, the annual membership's $4,000 a year to be inside. So it's not a, um, accessible to everyone. And, um, but in the future, I see a world where it, like a, an alternative education system for people who think differently and who want to lean into that alternative thinking uh, and build something for themselves, whatever stage they're at. So I'm sure there'd be products for those people at some point in the future, but just doubling down and focusing for now uh, on what we've got. So I'm in Cape Town right now, like you probably guessed, and there's really a few reasons for me being here. I think travel brings a lot of perspective like I could have very easily stayed in WA it was beautiful in summer I could have, I had a good routine but um perspective new perspective I'm calling it the three p's I just came up with this perspective people and place I guess um which bring a lot of value uh, especially when you're in a new place there's people here that I've been connected with online for I want to say like eight years um uh, there's some creative guys and some others and um yeah it's just funny how because my first time here you know finally all these connections you can finally just tee up chats and and go play paddle and and go for a run and go for a dip and uh it's so cool to to be in that environment so back home i feel like we have that too but you kind of already know everyone so it feels new and it feels fresh and it feels like home on steroids kind of it's very similar to west australia in my opinion climate um and coastal and, and all the rest but yeah, so that's a big one for me. I also want to have a really solid routine, um, training, eating, working, creating. Uh, you know, I was a day or two into this trip. I had a, had a guy hit me up and said, hey man, long shot, but you want to go to Namibia next week for like 10 days? Uh, and of course I want to go to fucking <laughs> Namibia for 10 days. It's, it's up the coast from here. But, um, but I had to sit and be like, no, that's not my intention for this trip. Um, it's not the reason I'm here. So I had to, uh, I had to say no <coughs> and, uh, and, you know, sit down and, and stick to what I'm here for. So, um, and then finally, from a business perspective, full transparency, uh, yeah, there's definitely intention uh, while I'm here. I want to be thinking about partnerships with Art of Mondays. For example, this place I'm staying in right now, it's called Neighbor Good. Uh, it's a really cool concept. It's basically a co-living hub. So think of like a, a, a share house, um, where we all have our own rooms and then there's like a central kitchen which you all share and um you know pool and and that sort of thing so uh, but the the cool thing about it is everyone here is like a digital nomad or they're building something of their own so it's like you get to meet other similar interesting like-minded people um for one but also i think there's there could be an opportunity to partner with someone like neighbor good and uh because all of the their entire customer base they've got heaps of these around cape town and then they're expanding to the u.s um their entire customer base, uh, most of them are like, could be suited for Art of Mondays, for example. So, um, yeah, there might be a partnership opportunity there, um, either with Neighbor Good or, or many others that are around. Uh, there's also obviously opportunities just to have chats organically with people who are staying here. If, if there's sort of a good fit there as well, that, that might progress into members. Um, and then thirdly, just a space to create a lot of content. Um, for me personally, every time I've applied pressure to that on my social media mostly short form video stuff on instagram and, and tiktok um but every time i've focused on it it has worked uh, at least in the last year and so uh, that's me doing you know a video a day and uh you know i imagine we can get back up to eight to ten million views a month doing that and obviously that's significant eyeballs on me but then also out of mondays so i just sort of reshaped my instagram bio and and kind of made it a bit more known that i'm working on out of mondays even though it is um still very much stealth mode under the cover uh there's still no website it's uh it's just a deck um with a link to apply so it's scrappy um and i kind of still like that i think there's you know we're getting to a point where we need to make it a bit more legitimate but um it's still early days and and i think it's cool that people can be part of building something from from day one the members that we currently have i'm just getting a phone call i'm not sure who from 
anyway, anyway um, that's kind of everything that I had on my list, to be honest. <laughs> um, so I'm going to keep you guys updated. It's a shorter episode this week. Um, challenge wise, I haven't really had any major challenges other than what I described already with, um, just trying to get everything done before I left for Cape Town. Um, and now that I've decided to be here and I've decided to be in routine. I'm able to say no to things, uh, which means that's something I struggle with in the past with travel is like, I just had FOMO and been like, you know, I'm here, shoot, what if something comes up tomorrow and I could go do this cool thing, I could go meet this person. And as a result, I just wouldn't plan my days and my trips accordingly. You know, I'd, I'd plan last minute, I'd be paying top price. So uh, that was the huge takeaway for me is like, just decide, be happy with that, don't have FOMO and the rest just falls into place and flow comes a lot easier. So that's what I'm embodying um, this trip. And uh, yeah, thanks for sticking along. If you want to keep updated with Art of Mondays, uh, I didn't give an update, but essentially we have um, uh, close to 15 members now um, in the group. Uh, we do virtual um, like group therapy. We do online, we have an online community and then we have in-person co-living uh, residencies, kind of like this actually. So we'll just book houses around the world. We'll open up slots for that, you know, eight slots, for example, and members can get those slots at cost. So it's like a big mastermind, but you're not paying a premium price. You're just paying at cost, splitting it among all the members. So that's a huge benefit of, of the membership. So, um, yeah, that's our, our little update. Um, it's early Feb, so we're about to have another intake. And, uh, and yeah, still slow growth, concentrated growth, getting the product right and then add some fuel on the fire when we when we start pushing content big time. So excited for that. Thank you for tuning in. And I, uh, I hope you start fucking with Mondays too. Peace.